Emotions ran high as the Omaha City Council heard opinions about a proposed law to deal with rundown, neglected properties. That plan faces some powerful opposition as some 900 properties sit awaiting demolition. Reporter Nick Starling is live with both sides of the debate. Nick? Jennifer, part of your tax dollars goes towards demolishing abandoned buildings in the city. Now some want the property owners to fork up the money or pay a registration fee if the property isn't occupied. Just, I've lost $10,000 at least on this house. I can't even sell it. Omaha homeowner Dennis McCauley is frustrated by the empty house right next to him. McCauley says he's tried to beautify the lot to improve his property value. I, actually, I put that grass in myself. A proposed city ordinance would hold property owners and banks responsible for vacant and abandoned homes they own. Property owners would have to register them with the city and pay $500 every three months until they're restored and occupied. The money would pay for maintenance and inspections typically done by the city. In a PAC City Council meeting, many favored the ordinance. Pass this ordinance so people can take pride back into their community. It's taken me three years to eradicate some of those weeds, perennial weeds from my yard, and some of my neighbors have just given up. However, the Nebraska Bankers Association says the city doesn't have the power to do this, and others say this is all about the city getting more money. I'll tell you right now, if this thing is passed, you might as well just lock me up now, because that's where I'm going. I'm not going to pay the fees. I'm not going to pay the fine. The topic clearly hits home for some city council members as emotions Before. boiled over. We need a better crescent wrench and whatever piece of equipment we have to put a new socket on it, and this is it. I have to drive home to that mess every day. Every day. I have to drive home to that foolishness. And I watch these slumlords play games with us year after year after year after year. Now, a final decision wasn't made today. The city council pushed the issue until November 17th, where they are expected to make a final decision. Reporting live, Nick Starling, KMTV Action 3 News.